Okay, here we go. I'll call the meeting to order, uh, 905, and ask for a motion to approve the agenda. And a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed, that carries. Public participation, there being none and no delegations, we'll move on to approval of the minutes. There are no minutes to approve, therefore no business arising from the minutes. Uh, any unfinished business? Uh, reports? Um, last evening, 30-ish people. I would say more like twenty, two dozen. Let's say less, around two dozen. Two dozen. Mm -hmm. Fred, did you? Uh, I counted thirty. Thirty. Oh, thirty. That's more than I thought. Okay. And, and I'm counting those at the table. Yeah. Yeah. Audience. <laughs> yeah. Gallery. And did it take an hour and a half? It took about an hour and a half. Hour and forty. <coughs> Key issues were houseboat. Uh, houseboat uh, subdivision to a little extent. Nobody raised anything else about uh, cottages. Uh, um, secondary, nothing? Uh, nothing on secondary suites, nothing on parking, no objections raised to uh, Covenant. So yep. it was a talk for an hour and a half? M mostly it's, uh, in support of the need to retain a houseboat oh. uh, close to the shore at Kelvin Grove. Not about the bylaw specifically. Just W1. Yeah. Two. Two. W2. W2. Uh, there was a suggestion from the audience that Cal, uh, that Brunswick should be made. I think what they were talking about was W2, but uh, it's not. It's W1 because there, there must be three dozen moorings in Brunswick on both sides of the mm -hmm. peninsula. So you know th that would not be a very easy change to make to convert that to W2, uh, and I think W1 is appropriate there anyway. But uh, but that was only one suggestion. Nobody else said anything about that. I mean the distinction. You know, it's it's a fairly technical discussion. About public wharves and private wharves and uh, you know, license of occupation. Um, mm. Yeah, people really only were concerned <coughs> about how it impacted them, and uh, yeah, I think we have enough to go on now. We, there's there's a thick binder of public input, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Lots of questions last night. Yeah, <coughs> no? yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, no, well, no questions. There were a few questions, but this was not a question and answer session. Mm -hmm. This is a hearing. This is not like the public information meeting. So I specifically said that, and I had to repeat it several times. This is not a feedback session or a debate. This is for uh, council and staff to hear public input that will go into a report to be reviewed uh, as part of council's deliberations. And it's now council who will make a decision. I think it's fair to say, uh, to mention around that you had a recess briefly so people could look at the. Uh notes in the binder, mm. if, uh, see if anything came out of that. So we gave them ample opportunity to comment one way or the other. Yeah, and a few people stood up to say to talk twice and clarify what they'd said, mm -hmm. which is which is what a public hearing is all about. It's good. It's good, sir. Thank you. Okay, um, so we'll move on to uh, um, skipping <coughs> resolutions. There being none, we'll move to adoption of three bylaws. And the first is the 2017 to 2021 five-year financial plan bylaw number 522. 2017. Um, may I have a motion to adopt this bylaw? Thank you. In a second. Any discussion? I'll call the question. All in favor? Opposed? That carries. Uh, second, we have the tax rates bylaw number 523 of 2017. May I have a motion for adoption? Thank you. In a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? That carries. And finally, the fees bylaw number 497 of 2016, amendment bylaw number 526 of 2017. May I have a motion for adoption? Thank you. And a second. Any discussion? Nope. Uh, all in favor? Opposed? That carries. There being no correspondence and no new business uh, and no public in the gallery, I'll ask for a motion for adjournment. All in favor? Opposed? That carries. Thanks.